That's pretty too. Yeah, that's a good one. You've probably read the article uh, on the site about the X-Rite password, but I wanted to show you uh, how easy it is to use in the field. I am just knocked out by this product. What's an X-Rite passport, you ask? Well, if I can find it, I'll show it to you. It's this guy here. And what it allows you to do is to create a custom profile for the given light condition that you're working in, as well as the gray balance, and to do it on location quickly and easily. It's really quite remarkable. So you open up the little plastic case, and inside you have a standard Gretag Macbeth color checker and another chart, which is for other purposes, and we'll talk about that another time, or you can read the article. What you also have is a nice large white reference. So what I'm going to do is make life really simple, and all I want to do is photograph this color checker chart. So I'm just going to lay it down on the hood of the car because it's in the same light condition as I'm working in here. And here's the point that there is nothing in this scene that I can use as a white reference. There's no one with gray hair, no one reading a newspaper, no one wearing a white t-shirt. I have no idea of what the correct color balance is. Plus, I can now generate a custom profile at the same time. So here's what we do. Just get the color checker in the shot. Get it to fill as much of the frame as possible. Doesn't even really have to be in focus. So I'm going to take the card out of the camera, and I'm going to get my laptop, stick it here on the hood of the car, and do this right on location. Okay. I'm already in Lightroom 3 Beta. Take the SD card, pop it in the slot, automatically comes up, and it's going to import the pictures that I just shot in the last few minutes. Task completed. Okay. So here are the 13 frames that I shot. I guess the last shot is the one that I really like. The problem is, where's my white balance? Now, I'm fortunate. I'm here. I'm on location. I can look at the scene, and I guess I can go into the develop module, and I can twiddle the temp and tint sliders until I get it right. But there's a better way. Let's go back to the grid view. Here is the shot of the color checker. And now let me do File, Export, Export to DNG. I'm just going to put it on the desktop, export. I'm going to hide that. I'm going to go to the Color Checker Passport program. And follow the direction. Drag and drop a DNG image here. Now, what it's going to try and do is automatically determine uh, the um, color checker uh, and load it up uh, automatically. Now, depending on how close I was, it may not be able to do this. So that 50 mil lens on the Leica M9 uh, isn't able to focus terribly closely. So we may have to do this manually. Let's see what happens. Nope, could not be detected. So I'm going to have to do it manually. And what I can do is place a dot there, and a dot there, and a dot there, and a dot there, and... That should do it. And I can now hit Create Profile. What am I going to call it? I'll call it Muskoka Overcast. And it's going to save it into the camera profile, the correct camera profile directory. Saving profile, please wait. Now, I typically am not going to do this on the hood of the car um, out in the woods, but what I want you to see is what the result looks like. So, profile has been created successfully. Thank you very much. And we can get out of Color Checker Passport. Now what I need to do is I need to close and then relaunch Lightroom so that the profile that Color Checker Passport has created gets automatically loaded. We're going to load the profile and set the white balance. 
So let's do that here. Uh, we will go into camera calibration. And there's Muskoka Overcast. In fact, there's Muskoka Overcast twice, because I did one yesterday. We were out shooting. Press W for white balance. And I am going to set the white balance for the image. So now I've got white balance set, and I've got the profile selected, and I am going to create a preset. And the preset is going to have white balance and calibration, and I'm just going to call this Muskoka Overcast WB and Profile. And I'm going to create it. Now I can go back to the image I want to work on. Let's say it's this one here. And in the develop module, over here is my Muskoka Overcast White Balance Profile preset. Click on it, and we've got both. I can do a little fine tune, season to taste, as is always the case with these things. Let me do a quick crop. I don't like the bottom. Let me check the exposure. Yeah, our highlights are perfect. I've done a good job of exposing to the right. Let's have a little bit of shadow detail and open up with fill light a little bit, and we're done. And that is a pretty close representation of what I see, fine-tuned a little bit to give it the color tonality that I want. Pretty impressive. X-Rite Color Checker Passport. Don't leave home without it, because I sure don't.